Mineral deposit ahead. 70 meters to the left. Okay. everyone. We've got a full load two days ahead of schedule. The House One and Grey Mining Company has never been more efficient. Now, let's launch those storage capsules into orbit. Capsule One. Capsule Two. Something's wrong. We just lost the second capsule. All stations report. Control, this is the engine room. We've got a problem. The engine is toast. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem for Andy Houseman. <laughs> you practically grew up on this rig. Which means I know when we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Right. Everyone to the escape pods. Looks like our time on this planet is up. Chief, the explosion wrecked the launch tubes. We're not going anywhere. Then we need to find a way to get moving again. Well, things are going to get very hot in here. The last thing you want to see on planet Mercury is a sunrise. planet Mercury is two months long, with temperatures that vary over a thousand degrees. That's why the crawler is constantly moving. They have to stay on the cool side of the planet at all times. So, with the crawler busted, we've only got a sliver of time before the sun comes up and those miners are cooked. Correct. But there's another problem. Thunderbird 3's life support can't handle the entire crew at once. You'll have to figure out a solution when you get there. Exactly why I'm bringing brains along. We're on our way. C careful Max. That's sensitive equipment. Uh, Brains, are you bringing every tool in the hangar? I want to be prepared, Alan. There's no telling what I'll need to fix the crawler. You have your brain, Brains. What more do you need? The plasma shielding. Oh, don't forget the plasma shielding, Max. those crawler schematics ten times already. Even the engineers on board the crawler have no idea how to get it m moving again. What if I can't f fix it either? But seriously, Brains? I've never known you not to be able to fix anything. <laughs> Remember my first moped? The one that you d drove into the ocean? You make a g good point. I'll do my best. And try not to worry. I just hope I brought enough p plasma shielding. <laughs> brains. Try and get some rest. We have a long ride ahead. Firing ion engines in three, two, one. Is this guy any good? They say he's the best. <laughs> on Earth. The best on Earth. Earth engineers have no idea what we do out here. We have no choice, Andy. We're putting our lives in someone else's hands. Yeah, I know. Brains, is it? <laughs> no, I'm Alan. This is Brains. Hello. How do you do... <sighs> International Rescue. Bob Gray. Darn good to meet you. Oh. Chief Engineer Andy Houseman. Kidding me, old partner. May I rest in peace. Andy. Hiya. Huh? 
Right, OK. Well, we don't have a whole lot of time, so let's skip the chit-chat and show you the business end of this place. Fist pump? Just as I suspected, the payload capsule explosion was the result of a corroded seal. And how does that get our engine started in this crawler crawling? It, uh, d doesn't. Right. Repairing the launch tubes for evacuation isn't an option. So we fix the engine? We fix the engine. That will save your crew and your crawler. All right. Let's see what you got. The capsule explosion caused a chain reaction that took out most of our systems. I fixed them all, but the engine still has me stumped. You've been using the battery power to run your life support then? Almost every drop of it. We're down to 15%. That may be a b bigger problem. We need the battery at f full power to restart the engine. We have a saying on this planet. A problem is a problem until you make it one. That sounds like a pretty huge problem to me. Can Thunderbird 3 recharge the battery? No, but I know something that can. Do you still have solar p panels in your spares inventory? Uh, yeah. Lots of them. Then, Alan, you're going for a drive. Yes! You know how much I love dangerous missions, but you do realize this is totally insane? Actually, it's brilliant. Oh, really? Okay, well, let's review. We drive out to the edge of where the sun will rise, drop off these solar panels, then make it back here before getting totally scorched. Precisely. When the sun hits the panels, the power generated will be beamed back to the crawler by Tesla wave to charge the battery. Uh-huh. I have one last question. How long will those solar panels last before melting into a puddle of goo once the sun hits? It's like a thousand degrees out here. They have a saying on this planet, Ellen. All right, all right. F.A.B. Space pod is go! Hopefully this should do the trick. Activating engine isolator. This is extremely frustrating. Welcome to my life, Brains. <sighs> we have the most sophisticated diagnostic equipment on Earth right here, and it's completely useless. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, we're not on Earth anymore. We make do with what we have. I see your p point. If you've checked this thing a hundred times, then we know it can't be the injector coils or the secondary flywheel actuator. Wait, hold on. We don't have a secondary flywheel. I saw it on the schematic. You must think I'm the biggest idiot in the solar system. N not in the least. You don't happen to have a hemostat, diopter, and carbonite lubricant? Uh, no, but I have some pliers, a rubber band, and the graphite from a pencil. So this must be m making do with what you have. P perfect. Alan, we fix the engine. It's up to you now. Get those panels as close to the sun as possible, and get back here fast. Sure, no problem. Piece of cake. You forgot to add, try not to melt. wrong. I'm not getting any traction. That's because we're stuck. Brains, it's Alan. The solar panels are active. <laughs> the only problem is, we're not. The space pod is stuck. Want me to get out and push? Can you? I was kidding. Right, put her in low gear and rock it up slowly. What, like this? Yeah, keep going. it did. Now step on it, or we're going to be a permanent feature of this landscape. Okay, we're moving again. Is it recharging? 
We're receiving the power wave now. If the solar panels last long enough to give the crawler a full charge, we're in the business. If not, we're back where we started. Solar panel temperature is rising. This is going to be close. Temperature critical. How are we doing, Brains? The battery's at 70%. Just a little more. No! On the bright side, we've bought ourselves enough power for 10 more days of life support. Yeah. Shame we only have two more hours before we're baking in the sun. This is over, isn't it? We have a saying at International Rescue. It's never over. We always find a way. You really say that? Well, it's not actually something we say, but it is something we believe. What's going on? This ain't good. Oh. <laughs> Look, will you calm down? This is Bob's rig, and he's still in charge. Thanks, Andy. Right. The way I see it, International Rescue still has time to evacuate at least some of the crew. That's not happening. No one gets left behind. That's very brave of you, kid. But the crawler is stuck. You want me to get out and push? <laughs> you got me. Wait. That's it. We need a p push. I was kidding, Brains. But I'm n not kidding, Alan. We could use Thunderbird 3 to p push start the engine. Oh, yeah! Parker taught me this trick. It's just like starting a car by pushing it down a hill. It's the m minor spirit. Make use of what you have. And what we have is Thunderbird 3. All right. Let's try it. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Great. Back on track. Ready, Alan? Ready as I'll ever be. Secured. Everyone, hold on to something. Okay, Alan, we're ready. Go ahead and fire main engines in three, two, one. C careful, Alan. T too much thrust on one side will tip us over. It's hard to be gentle when you're driving a rocket! It's working, Alan! The flywheel is turning! Engine's still not running. We need to go faster. Thunderbird 3, we need a little more speed. I'm not sure about this, Brains. We're almost there! Engine's running! Yeah, brains. My eggs might be a little scrambled, but 
I'll get over it. Did it work? Is the engine running? The engine's fine, but I'm afraid we have another pr problem. We're out of the frying pan and into the fire. This brawler still isn't going anywhere. I can fix it, but it won't be easy. Especially with the sun closing in on us. I have faith in you, kid. All of us do. They just need a little reminder. Everyone, listen up. We need to get out there and fix the cogwheel. Now, I'm looking around here and I know you're worried. I know you are. But miners like us don't back down. We always find a way. That's the same as our line. Now, let's get out there and get this done. rising unless I say it's rising. Right, it doesn't work that way, pal. All right, let's move it forward. Quarter speed. That's it. Nice and easy. We're back on track, people. Now let's kick this thing into gear and find ourselves some midnight. We need more speed. Now you're talking. to half my max. At that rate, you'll be in the dead center of the dark side in three days. Good work, Alan. Whew. No sweat. Actually, it was a lot of sweat. <laughs> like, a lot. You probably won't need them, but perhaps you could use some extra tools? Just because we make do with what we've got doesn't mean we can't use more of it. Thank you for helping me learn to think better on my feet. Hey, we both learned something new today. Like, for example, this crawler has a secondary flywheel. <laughs> Goodbye, and thanks. You saved our company and our lives. Are all your missions this exciting? Pretty much. Does this mean you don't mind getting sweaty from now on? I could use a good co-pilot. No, not on your life, Alan. There's only one thing I'm looking forward to more than getting back to Earth. What's that? Seeing Thunderbird 3 solar sails in action. Now let's go home. Oh, F-A-B!